Skybound hearts, love takes flight. In the vast expanse of the sky, where clouds drift like whispers of forgotten dreams, and the horizon stretches into infinity, a story of love was about to unfold. It was a love born in the most unlikely of places, a commercial flight soaring above the world, where two strangers would find their lives intertwined in ways they could never have imagined. Clara had always been a reluctant traveler. Her job as a marketing executive required her to jet-set across the globe, but the thrill of travel had long since worn off. The constant shuffle through security lines, the sterile airport lounges, and the monotony of long flights had dulled her sense of adventure. Yet, this trip was different. It was her first vacation in years, a much-needed break from the relentless pace of her career. As she boarded the plane, she hoped for nothing more than a peaceful, uneventful journey. Miles away, on the opposite side of the airport, David was preparing for a journey of his own. A journalist with a passion for storytelling, he was on his way to cover a human interest piece in a remote part of the world. His life was one of constant movement, never staying in one place long enough to call it home. But despite his restless nature, there was an emptiness that followed him, a longing for something, or someone, to fill the void that his transient lifestyle had created. The flight was a long one, spanning several time zones and continents. As Clara settled into her seat, she let out a sigh of relief, glad to have a window seat where she could lose herself in the view outside. She had packed a novel to pass the time, but as the plane taxied down the runway, she found herself staring out at the tarmac, lost in thought. David, who had been assigned the aisle seat next to her, noticed the distant look in her eyes. He had always been attuned to the emotions of those around him, it was what made him a good journalist. But this time, it wasn't just professional curiosity that made him pay attention. There was something about the way she stared out the window, a quiet sadness that tugged at his heart. As the plane ascended, leaving the bustling city far below, Clara closed her eyes and tried to relax. The gentle hum of the engines, combined with the soft murmur of passengers settling in, created a soothing background noise. But despite her best efforts, she couldn't shake the feeling of loneliness that had crept in with the start of her journey. David, sensing her discomfort, decided to break the silence. First time flying? He asked with a friendly smile, leaning slightly toward her. Clara opened her eyes and turned to look at him. He was handsome, in a rugged sort of way, with a warmth in his eyes that made her feel at ease. No, she replied, her voice soft. Just... First time in a while? Same here, he said, his smile widening. Well, not the flying part. I do that all the time. But it's my first time taking a break in what feels like forever. Clara couldn't help but smile back. So, what brings you on this flight? Vacation or business? A bit of both, actually, David replied. I'm a journalist, and I'm on my way to cover a story but I'm hoping to find some time to relax as well. And you? Vacation, Clara said, leaning back in her seat. Finally taking some time off work. Good for you, David said, nodding appreciatively. We all need a break now and then. Their conversation flowed naturally from there, each word easing the tension that had settled between them. They talked about their favorite travel destinations, the challenges of balancing work and life and the joys and frustrations of navigating the world alone. Clara found herself opening up to David in a way she hadn't with anyone in a long time. There was something about him, a kindness, an understanding, that made her feel safe. As the hours passed and the plane soared over oceans and continents, their connection deepened. They shared stories of their pasts. David spoke of his childhood in a small town the wanderlust that had driven him to explore the world, and the loneliness that often accompanied his adventures. Clara, in turn, talked about her rise in the corporate world, the sacrifices she had made, and the emptiness that success had brought. Somewhere over the Atlantic, as the cabin lights dimmed, and most passengers drifted off to sleep, their conversation took on a more intimate tone. They spoke of dreams and fears, of hopes for the future and of the things they had left behind. 
There was an honesty in their words, a vulnerability that neither had expected to share with a stranger. David found himself captivated by Clara's intelligence and wit, by the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about the things she was passionate about. Clara, too, was drawn to David's adventurous spirit, to the way he viewed the world with a mix of curiosity and compassion. As they sat side by side in the darkened cabin, their hands brushed against each other, sending a jolt of electricity through both of them. Neither pulled away. Instead, they let their hands linger, the warmth of the contact spreading through them like a slow-burning flame. It was a simple touch, but it spoke volumes, of comfort, of connection, and of a desire that neither had anticipated. As dawn approached, and the first light of day crept through the windows, the plane began its descent toward their destination. The realization that their time together was coming to an end filled them both with a sense of urgency. They had spent hours talking, but it didn't feel like enough. There was so much more they wanted to say, so much more they wanted to share. Can I see you again? David asked, his voice tinged with both hope and uncertainty. Clara hesitated for a moment, her mind racing with doubts. She had been hurt before, had opened her heart only to have it broken. But as she looked into David's eyes, she saw something different, sincerity, kindness, and a genuine connection that she hadn't felt in a long time. Yes, she replied, her voice steady. I'd like that. David's face lit up with a smile that made Clara's heart skip a beat. Good, he said, his hand still holding hers because I don't think I'm ready to say goodbye just yet. As the plane touched down and taxied to the gate, the world outside came back into focus. The passengers around them stirred, gathering their belongings and preparing to disembark. But for Clara and David, the journey wasn't over, it was just beginning. They exchanged numbers and made plans to meet later that day, both eager to continue the conversation that had started thousands of feet above the ground. As they walked off the plane and into the bustling airport, they felt a sense of excitement and possibility that neither had experienced in a long time. The city they found themselves in was new to both of them, a vibrant place filled with endless possibilities. They spent the day exploring together, wandering through narrow streets and bustling markets, sharing meals at quaint cafes, and laughing at the little things that only they seemed to notice. There was a lightness in their steps, a joy in their hearts that came from the simple act of being together. As the sun set and the city lights began to twinkle, they found themselves on a rooftop terrace, overlooking the skyline. The air was warm, the night filled with the sounds of distant music and laughter. David turned to Clara, his heart pounding in his chest. I'm really glad I met you, he said, his voice soft but filled with emotion. Clara smiled feeling a warmth spread through her. Me too, she replied, her hand finding its way back to his. I didn't realize how much I needed this, needed you. David leaned in closer, his eyes never leaving hers. I don't know what the future holds, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. But I know that right now, in this moment, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be, with you. Clara's heart swelled with emotion as she looked into David's eyes. There, in the depths of his gaze, she saw the same feelings reflected back at her. Without thinking, she leaned in and kissed him, a kiss that was soft and tender, but filled with all the unspoken words that had passed between them. When they finally pulled away, they were both breathless, their hearts racing. The world around them seemed to fade into the background, leaving just the two of them standing on that rooftop lost in each other's embrace. I don't want this to end, Clara whispered, her forehead resting against his. It doesn't have to, David replied, his arms tightening around her. We can make this work, whatever it takes, wherever it leads. And in that moment, they both knew that they would. They had found something rare and precious, a love that had taken flight in the most unexpected of places, but one that was destined to soar. As they stood there, wrapped in each other's arms, the city lights below twinkling like stars, they knew that their journey together had only just begun. The future was uncertain, filled with challenges and unknowns, but as long as they had each other, 
they were ready to face it all. For Clara and David, the sky was no longer the limit, it was just the beginning of a love that would carry them to heights they had never dreamed possible. A journey of hearts, love found on the road. In the heart of a bustling city, where the rhythm of life moved in sync with the hum of engines and the shuffle of hurried feet, a story was about to unfold that would change two lives forever. The city, known for its cold in different pace, was not the place one would expect to find warmth, let alone love. Yet, as fate would have it, love has a peculiar way of surprising us when we least expect it. Elena had always been a solitary traveler. She cherished the freedom of the open road, the thrill of discovering new places, and the quiet moments of reflection that only a journey could offer. But this trip was different. It wasn't just about exploring a new destination. It was about escaping the remnants of a love that had left her heartbroken. She needed to get away, to lose herself in the anonymity of travel, and to find solace in the miles that separated her from her past. On the other side of the city, Noah was preparing for a journey of his own. A seasoned traveler, he had seen more of the world than most could dream of. But no matter where he went, he couldn't escape the emptiness that followed him. His life, though rich with experiences, lacked the one thing he desired most, someone to share it with. He had always believed that love would find him someday, but as the years passed, his hope began to wane. The morning was crisp as both Elena and Noah arrived at the train station. The platform buzzed with activity, travelers hurrying to catch their trains, vendors selling their wares, and the distant sound of a departing train echoing through the air. Elena found a quiet corner and settled in with a book, hoping to drown out the world around her. Noah, on the other hand, was lost in thought, staring out at the tracks as if searching for something he couldn't quite name. Their paths crossed for the first time as they boarded the same train, each finding a seat in the nearly empty carriage. Elena, absorbed in her book, barely noticed the man who sat across from her. Noah, however, was immediately struck by the sight of her. There was something about her, a quiet strength, a sense of purpose, that intrigued him. He found himself glancing at her more often than he cared to admit. The train rumbled to life slowly pulling away from the station, and the journey began. Hours passed in silence, broken only by the occasional announcement or the rustle of pages as Elena turned another leaf. Noah, unable to focus on his own book, found his thoughts drifting to the woman sitting across from him. He wondered about her story, what had brought her on this journey, and why she seemed so distant. It wasn't until the train hit a sudden jolt that Elena looked up from her book Catching Noah's gaze for the first time, their eyes met, and for a moment, the world outside seemed to fade away. There was a brief flash of recognition, as if their souls had known each other in another time, another place. Elena quickly looked away, her heart racing, unsure of what to make of the connection she felt. Noah, on the other hand, couldn't shake the feeling that this meeting was more than just a coincidence. He wanted to say something to break the silence between them, but he hesitated, unsure of how to approach her. The train continued its journey, the scenery outside a blur of colors as the miles rolled by. It was late in the afternoon when the train pulled into a small station for a brief stop. Elena, feeling the need for some fresh air, decided to step out onto the platform. As she walked down the aisle, Noah found himself following her, driven by a force he couldn't explain. They ended up standing side by side on the platform, the cool breeze ruffling their hair, as they both stared out at the distant hills bathed in the golden light of the setting sun. It's beautiful, isn't it? Noah finally spoke, his voice gentle, yet filled with a warmth that caught Elena off guard. She turned to him, surprised by the softness in his tone. Yes, it is, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. There was a pause, the kind that hangs in the air when something important is about to be said. But instead of words, there was only silence. A silence that was somehow comforting. 
As the train's whistle signaled their impending departure, they both knew they couldn't let the moment slip away. Noah extended his hand, a gesture of introduction, of possibility. I'm Noah, he said, his eyes locking onto hers. Elena, she responded, placing her hand in his. It was a simple exchange, but in that brief contact, there was a spark, a connection that neither of them could deny. Back on the train, the conversation flowed effortlessly. They talked about their travels, their dreams, and the paths that had led them to this moment. Noah found himself opening up in ways he hadn't in years, sharing stories of his adventures and the loneliness that had shadowed them. Elena, too, found comfort in his words, in the way he listened with genuine interest, as if her thoughts and feelings mattered more than anything else. As night fell, the train's rhythm became a lullaby, and the world outside was swallowed by darkness. But inside that carriage, a new world was being created, one filled with shared laughter, quiet understanding, and the blossoming of something that neither of them had expected. Days passed, and the journey continued. They explored new towns together, walked along cobblestone streets, and marveled at the beauty of places they had never been before. The more time they spent together, the more they realized how much they had in common. Their love for adventure, their thirst for knowledge, and the quiet introspective moments that came with travel. But it wasn't just the similarities that drew them to each other. It was the differences. The way Noah could make Elena laugh with his witty remarks or the way Elena could calm Noah's restless spirit with just a look. They balanced each other in a way that felt natural, effortless, as if they had been made for one another. As the journey neared its end, a sense of melancholy settled over them. They both knew that their time together was coming to a close, that soon they would return to their separate lives, to the cities and responsibilities that awaited them. But the thought of parting was unbearable, and neither wanted to face the reality of it. On their last night together, as the train rolled through the countryside under a canopy of stars, Noah took Elena's hand in his, his grip firm yet tender. I don't want this to end, he admitted, his voice filled with emotion. Elena looked at him, her eyes reflecting the same sentiment. Neither do I, she whispered, the words heavy with the weight of unspoken fears and unfulfilled hopes. There was a long pause as they both struggled with the uncertainty of what came next. But in that silence, they found an answer, one that had been there all along, waiting to be discovered. Come with me, Noah said finally, his voice steady, his eyes searching hers for any sign of hesitation. Let's keep this journey going, wherever it may lead. Elena felt her heart skip a beat, her mind racing with the possibilities. She had always been the type to overthink, to weigh the pros and cons, before making any decision. But this time, she knew she didn't need to. This time, she would follow her heart. Yes, she replied, a smile spreading across her face. Let's keep going. And so, they did. Together, they embarked on a new journey, one that wasn't bound by train schedules or destinations on a map. Count for Noah and Star was a great guide going to use. It was a journey of the heart, of discovering love in the most unexpected of places, and of building a future together, one mile at a time. As the train pulled into its final stop, they stepped off hand in hand, ready to face whatever lay ahead. The world was vast and uncertain, but they knew that as long as they had each other, they could navigate it all. For Elena and Noah, the journey of hearts had only just begun. This story captures the essence of finding love unexpectedly during a journey, weaving together moments of connection, introspection, and the blossoming of a deep, meaningful relationship. The romantic undertones, combined with the sense of adventure, make it a compelling tale that resonates with those who believe in love's ability to find us when we least expect it.